What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Centurions Day or Team 2 and we are going to see what we've got from EA Sports today. Eusebio, Zico, Zanetti, Cole, Trezeguet and Makalele, De Bruyne, Bon Matti, Musiala, Williamson. Was that Arsenal Williamson? All right, we're going to see what we got. We're going to see what we've got. We're going to start with the objectives as always. Uh, Centurions, Jared Bowen. How good is he? 80. Oh my days, that's a good card. 86 rated, four star skill moves, three star weak foot. Really tidy stats. Technical, rapid, and long ball pass. That's a really, really good objective card. I can't even lie, that's a really good objective card. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And what do we need to do that? Precision. So there's 1,000 XP in here as well, which is quite mad. And 500 XP. There's 1,500 XP in Jared Bowen. Score six goals using English players. Assist three goals with midfielders. Score and assist in three separate matches using Premier League players. Score three goals from outside the box. No one's going to complete that. <laughs> no, cutbacks only. Uh, win eight games with three English players in your starting 11. Not bad. Not bad. That, I think that Bowen's good. There's some good rewards there as well. Gold players pack. A premium gold pack. A small gold players pack. A small mixed players pack. And a gold pack. Not bad. Seasonal. Nothing new. Milestones. Did we get anything more here? Another Centurion's milestone, perhaps? Oh, we have Centurion. Centurions of matches. Scoring 100 matches in squad battles, rivals, or champions to earn pack rewards. An 82 by 2, an 80 by 5, an 83 by 3, an 84 by 2, an 83 by 5, and a rare players pack at the end. I like it. I respect it. And you've got 111 days to complete this. So it's not like you got to rush. I know people are going to rush, but it's not like you're going to rush. Uh, after that, let's go to Evolutions. FC founder was still there. Trailblazer striker. Centurions attacking mid. Overall 83. This is 150,000 coins. Oh, my days. Pace max 82, shooting max 82, dribbling max 85, defending max 70, position cam, play styles maximum 7. You gain a lot off of this. What do you gain? There are ways. Long ball pass, two pace, two shooting, two passing, four dribbling. Kinged pass, one star weak foot, two pace, two shooting, two passing. Incisive pass, which is so good. Two dribbling, two pace, two shooting, two passing. That's mad. So overall you gain, what is that, six pace, six shooting, six passing, six dribbling. And pinged pass, incisive pass, and long ball pass. Oh, that's good. That's good. Let's preview someone. Let's take, uh, let's, let's, let's take like a, a Jonas Hoffman in here. Five star weak foot. Oh, this this is this is a good Evo. This is a good Evo. Um, the weak foot is really big big seller for that. We've got Centurions Striker, which is a free one. Max overall eighty four. Pace max eighty three. Dribbling max eighty six. Physical max eighty six. Position striker. Play styles max nine. And in this one, you gain. Seven pace, three shooting, two dribbling, two passing, and three physical. Seven pace, though. You get high attacking work rate, and you get rapid play style. This is definitely one that you have to kind of like add to something else. This is, this is also why the pie went mad in it, the price. Because by the time it gets that full upgrade, five star, three star, high low work rates... With some crazy stats. That's, that's, that's quite a nice one. Havertz fits in this as well. Yeah, so Havertz was in the other one too. Obviously, you just want to take players that have already got like the most pace. And then just keep boosting them up. 
that that's that's a good one. That is a good one. Um, wait until I see the next one. Wait, there's another one. Have I missed one? This one we've already done. This one was the one I did Eddie and Ketia on. There's only two new Evos, right? I don't think there's another one. There's Centurion's Striker. Your Evo Havertz works for the Centurion Striker. No, because he's 80. Oh, yeah, it does, because he's 84. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's two. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, I like that. Right, SBCs. Let's have a look. What do we got? Players. We have got Player of the Month Bellingham. So I've already gone through this on stream, guys. Player of the Month Bellingham is about 600,000 coins. It's very. It's basically the same as the Trailblazers, just doesn't have as good play styles. I personally think it's a bit expensive, especially with how hard it is to get fodder. However, if you want him, get him. I know he plays well in game. I know he's very big. He's got four star, four star. He's six foot one, and he has got good play styles. Um, I just think 600,000 coins is a bit too much for me personally. I'd rather wait for like a game-breaking SBC, and I don't think this is it. Um, and we also got ourselves another player of the month by the way of... Olka, not him. Uh, Vangelis Pavlidis. And uh, this is all right. It's an 838 squad with an inform. With a hunter, he's good for your Eredivisie teams. Um, he's got finesse shot on Traveller, which is good, and aerial, and he's six foot as well, which is quite nice. Um, was there no uh, player today? Or have I missed it? Watkins was already there. Luca was already there. No, oh, they must just be set on the uh, player of months. Fair enough. Um, so upgrades. The hero's there. 82 plus team of the week player pick is there. I wonder what that's. Uh, 283s with an 85. Oh, yeah. No thanks, EA. Um, bronze, silver, and gold upgrades. Challenges. Insurance challenge for for a gold pack. No way, yay. Thank you so much. Hoo -hoo. 16 chemistry, minimum silver. One, oh, honestly, do one. That's terrible value. That's atrocious. And we have got a new icon, Nemanja Vidic, as expected. I have a feeling he's going to be insane in this game. Six foot three, medium high work rates, good pace. Great defending and physical, good passing and dribbling, and incredible play styles. He's got aerial, power header, bruiser, acrobatic, block, jockey, slide tackle plus. He doesn't have probably one of the best two, anticipating intercept as a defensive setup, but he is just going to be a machine, isn't he? He's going to be a machine. And he's lengthy. How much is him? How much is he? We've got the, the silver and bronze team, the lone team for a gold, an 84... An 85, an 86, twice, and an 87. That's that's very reasonable. That is very reasonable. I like that. Blanc's good. Man, this, this centre-back pairing here, Vidic and Blanc, you, you honestly could complete that. that I, you are going to come up against now, more than anything in life, Vidic and Blanc icon partnership in Champs and Rivals because they are two unbelievable, unbelievable de defenders. And they're both just there. They are both just there. So in terms of the store, before we actually go and look at the players, guys, what did EA give us today? Well, let's let's rip our preview pack. One, one day I'll get an icon or, or a promo card or something. Oh, the Yoki Koke. It might actually be a profe uh, profit profitable pack. A profitable pack. Um, let's have a look at these uh, promo packets. Just the Centurions week two and pack thing here. 50 rare goals, 80. We'll, listen, I've got some coins. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Scotland. Then the mid. Little Kim. Double walkout. Double walkout. With uh, Ruben Dish. 89 rated. That's pretty poor, isn't it? Um, Kalhanoglu and Walsh in there as well. Not bad. But David Trezeguet, guys. Four star, four star. He's just, he's going to be cheap, isn't he? He's just going to be cheap. He just doesn't have it. And then Zico, oh my days. Five star, five star. Ridiculous stats. Very good play styles. Take him. Oh yeah, we take him. And then we look at as well, Trezeguet and Jairzinho. 
five star, four star for the Brazilian. Again, just mad, just mad, mad card, mad card. Um, and then that's it for that. So let's go on to uh, Footbin. Or foot.gg. Maybe both. Maybe Footbin's going to load for us today. It is. And uh, first of all, let's have a look at Vidic compared to his Icon 87. He's not been given much of an upgrade, to be fair. But I do like this card. I can't even lie. Shadow Chem style on him. Yeah, he's, he's just a menace of a defender. 340k. I think that's good. How much is his... Uh, Regular card. See, his 87 is 270k. I honestly think that's good. Um, in terms of active SPCs, the insurance challenge for is downvoted because it's terrible. The 82 plus team of the week player pack is upvoted. Fair enough. Uh, Bellingham is upvoted. Have leaders about 50 50, mostly because people don't care about Eredivisie. And uh, yeah, as expected, Vidic is massively upvoted. But we are here for the players, the new players, Centurions Team 2. We have got Perea 85. He's been given twos across the board, three in physical, four in passing, four in defending. Four star, four star. Technical flair, trickster, and Traveller. Some good play styles for him, to be fair. That's a really fun card. That's a really fun card. You can't put chem styles on him yet, but you put a, a, a hunter on him, and I think he actually makes a, a really, really good uh, striker. He's a fun one. We've got Jamal Musiala, man. He's been given a plus three, five shooting and passing, three defending, two dribbling, three pace, three physicals, five star, four star. Technical plus, incisive pass, first touch and trickster. This is a great card. His dribbling is mad. His passing is, I'll probably give him an engine, but good stamina. Still poor physically and defensively, but I think as a literal cam, he'll be very good. Maybe I don't think he's a million coins worthy of good, but I think he's good. Uh, we have got Chiesa. Just ones and twos for Chiesa across the board. That's a bit sad. How can his gold card be 7,000 coins and then this card be... Well, okay, maybe it's just come out in packs, but I think the play styles are the same as well, aren't they? Rapid plus and four versus rapid plus and four, but he's got Traveller and Finesse shot. And his gold card was already very good. I'd, I'd personally be putting like a hunter on him and playing him at striker. Great pace, great shooting, good dribbling. Or you could play him on the wing, but you kind of need to boost the passing. But Finesse on Travella, I'd be playing him at striker, 100%. Or like a, a, a cam spot. We've got 92 De Bruyne, guys. Oh my God, they gave him six pace. Two shooting, two physical, one passing, one dribbling, one defending. Pop an engine on this bad boy. Very good dribbling. Dare I say great dribbling. Insane passing. Very good pace. Insane shooting. Good physicals. Brilliant, brilliant play styles. Brilliant card. 5.7 million coins. I'm probably not play, play, paying that, but we've got... On Matty, you've got a plus one, two physical and defending, and then one's across the board otherwise. The EA, no, she just won the Ballon d'Or. All-star, five-star, great dribbling, very good passing. Other than shot power, great shooting, good pace, good defending, good physical, a little low on aggression, incredible play styles. Relentless, perfect, technical, good, incisive pass, brilliant, tiki tacker, lovely, finesse shot, lovely. Good card, it's good card, good card. We've also got Carmona. Four star, three star. Oh, she could be Evoed. That's quite nice. Um, we give it a sizable upgrade. The plays for Real Madrid. Very nice dribbling for a fullback. Relentless, rapid, technical intercept and finesse shot. This is a good card. I like this card. A shadow on her. I think is a very good fullback. Good passing. Very good dribbling. Good physicals. Very good pace, very good defending and good play styles. And four-star, three-star. Uh, we've got Borna and Nandez. Nandez looks like he'll fit in the Evo. Maybe not. Um, three-star, two-star. Bit of a stinky card. I can't even lie. Bit of a stinky card. Like if, I, I'd put a shadow on him, but... And then we've got Borna. 
centre back. Has he been given a mad pace upgrade or what? Five pace. You can go into the. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. He can go into the um, evolutions upgrade thing as well. You know what? That's not a terrible card. Six foot three, three star weak foot. Little bad dribbling, probably. That's that's what like great sprint speed. I, I mean, once you get the plus two, he's. He, I'm trying. I'm trying to make trying to make him seem good, but he's just not, is he? And then we've got Williamson. The fact that she's already 100k is disrespectful. Dis she's going straight into my team. Six pace upgrade, four physicals. Oh, this is an amazing card. She has got long ball pass plus, anticipate bruiser, block and jockey. Four star, sorry, three star skill moves, three star weak foot. Pop a shadow on her. Insane pace. Insane defending. Incredible physicals. Unbelievable passing. What more do you need? What more do you need? Unbelievable card. And then the icons. Now, as always, guys, we are going to have a video out a little bit later for the um, for the uh, Evos. We'll take a look at some of them right here, right now. But mostly, we'll. Uh, she's five seven. I bet she is. Right, David Trezeguet. There's only one chem style you could apply to him, and it'll be a hunter. This card will just be reasonably cheap. It will be affordable. Four star, four star is nice. His play styles are, are all right. Passing's terrible. Dribbling's quite harsh. Pace is all right. Shooting is very good. Trezeguet's just not it. Ashley Cole, compared to his 86. Wow, they boosted him up to an 89. He's got a really good upgrade. Wow. He's got... Ashley Cole's... Like, this card here I used a lot. I used for about 20 games or so, and it's good. This card looks brilliant. A shadow chem style on him. Top pace, top defending. Very good physicals, very good passing, very good dribbling, and very good play styles. We've got Javier Zanetti. Right back, left back, center mid. Beautiful. Relentless plus. Four star weak foot. Not the biggest upgrade on him. Still not bad though. I'd pop a shadow on him. I'd probably play him at full, full back, to be fair, for myself. Because of the four star weak foot, it's really nice. Press prove and anticipate intercept jockey power shot on relentless plus. I would definitely play him at full back instead of in at center mid. He'd be one of the best fullbacks, in my opinion. We've got the brand new hero, Francescoli. Four star, four star. Bit heavy on balance, otherwise, really good. First touch plus. Oh my days. Finesse shot, power shot, incisive pass, technical flair, and acrobatic. Pop a hunter on him. Top pace, top shooting. Good dribbling, good passing, good physical, good card. Good card. Not, not my ideal card. You know, he plays in the Argentinian league and is Uruguayan, so it's going to be hard to link him. We've got Eusebio Centurions. Eusebio Centurions. Four star, five star. They've given him two defending and physical, one's across the board otherwise. They don't change the play styles, it seems. Quick step, power shot, and rapid plus. An insane card. An insane card. And then uh, we've also got Zico, who looked crazy. Three defending, two physical, one's across the board otherwise. It's, it's just, again, it's an insane card, right? I'd probably go an engine on him. Yeah, yeah. I would definitely go an engine on him. That, that looks like it'll be a ridiculous card in game with those play styles as well. Um, now, when we go to Futujiji, we have got two new evolutions. We have got Centurion's attacking mid, which is the paid one. Let's have a look at the best eligible players. Soon could be a fun one, especially with that weak foot upgrade. Makes her 5-star, 4-star. I have a feeling, like based on what's here, I have a feeling this is going to be best suited for already upgraded cards. Toon will be good. She's got really good play styles. Goes up to an 87 rated with the Centurion's attacking mid. Comes 5-star, 4-star with really good play styles and really good stats. Um, but yeah, I think when it comes to... So for, for example, like Kai Havertz, he's going to look at that. I've got his foundations card. He's going to gain seven pace, three shooting, two passing, two dribbling, and three more physical. And this is going to make him a ridiculous card. He's already so good. What did I put on him? I put a marksman on him, didn't I? That is an unreal card. Genuinely, genuinely unreal. 
He already had five star weak foot for Havertz because of the other one. So he doesn't really get the upgrade. He already had it. Um, he does become high medium though, which is really nice. Yeah, I do. I, I feel like when we do this, you're going to get a better look at who's going to be good and who's not going to be good. But I'm going to take some time to find the best ones and then we'll have a video up a little bit later uh, for this. I can have that's 87 isn't there and it just goes through his 86. I don't think it's showing like the, uh, the other ones. And then if we look at the, um, the Centurion striker, now this is a free one. You get seven pace and then twos and threes everywhere else. Plus three overall. Russo from Arsenal is eligible. That's really nice. Oh, she becomes really good. Three star, three star also. Look at that with the Hunter Chem style. Absolutely madness. We've got Serge Nabry is eligible for this one. That's a really good option. Muller, Nagasato, Le Soma. Depay, who's probably the best option. Lukaku, Jurassic's 84 rated um, Trailblazer could be a really fun one. Oh, yeah. That, that looks ridiculous. Oh, my days. Top pace, top shooting, top physicals. That's a wild card, to be fair. That is a wild card. We'll, we'll have a look in, in depth at all of them. All of the best options uh, in, in the next video later on tonight. But there's a lot of really good options here. I actually think the Centurion Striker is probably going to be the more engaged one. Seven pace on this as well is like mental. You can fit in Gonzalo Ramos. You can fit in a Foundations card, Sheehan. She, she's got a good card as well. She's actually got a crazy good card. Wow. Doesn't have the play styles, but the stats are really good. Giroud in there. Why wouldn't you, right? Why wouldn't you? Um, we're also going to have uh, a few of the Arsenal boys, right? So Isaac could be good. And then where is uh, oh, Black Stenius fits as well? Might be more interested in Black Stenius over, uh, over Russo. Isaac will be very good with this because of his height as well. Four star, five star. Yeah. That pace, top of Hunter on him, top pace, top shooting, very good dribbling, good play styles with the Traveller as well. That height with the four star. Oh, man, that's an amazing card. Black Stenius is good as well. Four star, four star, finesse and Traveller. Might just be better than Eddie and Ketia. I don't know. And then Trossard as well. Finally gets an evoable card. He's also got uh, Favela. I'm going to have to... I've got, I've got some thinking to do for my Arsenal RTG. Uh, but for today, guys, that's going to be the end of the 6 p.m. video. As I say, I'll be back shortly uh, with a video on looking at the best options for the evolutions. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.